hello guys today we're going to see how to create the areas so before going to create the areas so where uh, the areas is really working see normally you want to group some uh, uh, sections uh, like I have a, mm, a department uh, section so or a admin or a some billing section or customer support so I need to group it to uh, all the events uh, all the stuffs uh, like my controller models and uh, my views uh, to be grouped together I don't want to add in a same controller like uh, base controller home controller manage controller patient controller instead of uh, that I need to group my um, controller model whatever the model used associated with that and uh, the views so for that uh, MVC providing the option uh, to create a section called areas so with the areas you can uh, create uh, your separate uh, areas that areas will define you um, that will uh, generate you all the controllers model views that is grouped inside it so uh, let uh, let me go on to show you how to create the areas go to the add uh, just click the area so you give the area name I'm just giving uh, the name called admin administration okay this is administration section and add it so my uh, scap for co holding uh, it's uh, generating me the structure for the areas yes it is uh, generated me the area section so if you see here uh, you have the section created uh, called the areas under the areas you have the folder called administration and the administration you have the uh, uh, the uh, default folder called control model and the views and uh, the views have generated the default web config and uh, it's generated you the registration um, class this class what it's content actually so uh, this will uh, override uh, mm, the registration uh, route actually so you need to set for the uh, root for uh, areas so that is what default uh, it is this you need to go and register in a app start in a global dot axpx so let me close other stuffs this is my global uh, controller and views let me close everything So here we have a global uh, aspect. So here, yes, uh, you need to add if it is not added. So area registration dot registration all areas. So uh, if you um, register, it will uh, completely registered uh, the area uh, into uh, your root table. So here, what I uh, what it is actually. So every areas ha um, every area have uh, their own root config so here my administration this is the um, um, root config that is what actually uh, uh, it looks like the pattern like administration slash and controller and the action and the id so in administration i go on to create uh, some controller called dashboard controller okay add it here I will just mention as uh, dashboard controller so this generated me the dashboard controller let me go on the add the view okay it's uh, added me the view in my dashboard view so I am in the under the area section so if not clear so I think uh, you are able to visible that uh, so let me close other steps so uh, I am in the area folder administration under the administration I created the dashboard uh, in the dashboard uh, I created the default view if for the view I have uh, the index here I'll just uh, mention okay something like admin dashboard index okay 
uh, now let me go and let me go and uh, run the page we will see how uh, things is looking fine so uh, what is a uh, pattern it will come uh, so if we go and see the administration area registration so uh, your URL is administration slash controller is dashboard slash index if you hit then uh, this uh, view uh, will be presented let let me go and uh, run that so I will go and uh, So my application is building and uh, it's compelling my view for that. So anyways, uh, I just uh, uh, run directly from my index page. So it's uh, yes, MEG. Uh, the whistle should have the option <coughs> uh, to uh, fetch the root directly if you you are in the view. So that is what the uh, so my URL is administration slash dashboard slash index. So administration is my area and the dashboard is my controller and the index yes I have the page this mm, it's generated me uh, the page so this is the way uh, to group uh, the all your modules uh, like administration billing section so everything under the area you can go ahead and uh, um, create uh, another area you can create a multiple areas over here and you can group all the sections modules in a clean way so this is the uh, way to create the areas if you have any doubt queries please comment us so I think the same uh, procedure after that uh, you can call your uh, other methods in the same um, fashion so this is the way to split into the areas uh, thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us please subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed before uh, to get uh, more updates